iOS has never been a very open operating system, and iPhone users have always had to live inside Apple's walled garden. However, jailbreaking iOS can give you access to a number of jailbreak tweaks and apps that can change the way you use your iOS devices. Hey guys, I'm Akshay from bbomb.com and today let's talk about the 15 best iOS 10 jailbreak tweaks. We'll cover tweaks for everything from customization to getting 3D touch on your older iPhones. Yeah, you heard that right. So let's jump right in. If you're using an iPhone older than the 6S, you've been missing out on 3D touch and everything it offers. 3D touch brings some really great shortcuts and quick actions on an iPhone. Unfortunately, all of these are only available on the iPhone 6S and above. But that's not why I'm talking about 3D Touch. Turns out, with a simple to use jailbreak tweak called Peekaboo, you can get 3D Touch on older iPhones as well. Which is how I got 3D Touch on this iPhone 6. Unlike iPhone 6s and above, you won't get a taptic feedback on older iPhones, but the feature works nonetheless. iPhones have a lot of things going for them but they don't offer the user control over a lot of things that they really should. For example, there is no way to lock apps in iOS. I'm sure Apple had a good reason for this, but it really doesn't matter. If you need to lock apps on your iPhone, you can do this with the iProtect jailbreak tweak. You can set a password and use Touch ID to unlock the apps every time they are launched. You can also prevent the apps from being deleted by keeping them protected with your Touch ID. One thing almost every iPhone user hates is the notifications in iOS. The notification center doesn't bundle notifications and ends up looking very cluttered very easily. If you like notifications in iOS, great. But if you don't, you can use the jailbreak tweak Unify to get bundled notifications on your iPhone. Unify offers a lot of customization in the way iOS displays notifications. You can group notifications by apps like in Android or by time. However, unlike Android notifications, you still won't be able to swipe up or down to expand or contract the notifications. You can, however, enable chaining. It's still not as good as the notifications on Android, but it will do. This is something everyone has been asking Apple to implement for a long time. But while Apple doesn't have a dark mode baked into iOS, jailbroken users can easily get it working on their iPhones. With the tweak called Eclipse 4, you can get a system-wide dark mode on your iPhone. The tweak gives you control over every aspect of your iPhone's color theme. You can choose custom themes and enable dark mode for specific applications as well. I'm sure you'll all agree that the way iOS displays changes in volume is just horrible. We don't need a big obtrusive box on an iPhone screen to inform us about the change in volume. I don't know why Apple refuses to do anything about it. Thankfully, with Status Wall X, you can get rid of that volume overlay and move the volume display to the center of your status bar instead. To be honest, it doesn't even look that good. But I hate the default overlay so much, Status Wall X is a boon to me. One of the coolest things you can do on a jailbroken iPhone is run multiple apps in windowed mode, with each app in a separate control center page. With the app center tweak, you can launch apps inside the control center and swipe between them seamlessly. You can adjust the size of the windows to suit your liking and the apps work perfectly fine. If you are more interested in split screen multitasking like in Android devices, there are tweaks for that too. But I don't think split screen multitasking is really useful in phones. It's totally up to you though. How cool would it be to navigate your iPhone with multi-touch gestures? Well, with the Activator app, you can do that and a lot more. Activator lets you assign functions to specific button presses, gestures and more. You can even create custom menus on your iPhone and activate them on specific gestures. Activator's gestures can be localized to specific apps or they can be global gestures that work throughout iOS. So you can set a gesture like a three finger spread to go directly to the home screen and more. Activator is a very powerful application and can completely change the way you interact with your iPhone. If you're a fan of the chat hits feature that Facebook Messenger comes with on Android devices, You'll be happy to know that it's available on iOS as well. You can simply download the message heads tweak to enable message heads for messages and WhatsApp. Ironically, message heads does not support Facebook Messenger, at least not yet. You can directly reply from the chat that pops up on tapping a message head, which is definitely a useful feature. Honestly, I don't really mind the iOS 10 control center, but a lot of people do. 
and for them flip control center can come in handy. The flip control center tweak will allow you to customize the control center by adding, removing and editing the buttons in the control center. So you can easily remove buttons for things you barely use like night shift and add buttons for things you can actually use like low power mode, personal hotspot and more. You can also change the apps in the bottom row of the control center or add more apps to it. This is a simple yet appealing jailbreak tweak. With the force in picture tweak, you can watch videos from almost any popular website in picture in picture mode on your iPhone. Once you've installed the tweak, just open whatever video you're watching and then tap on the picture in picture button. Then you can press the home button to go back to home and do whatever you want while the video plays in a window on your screen. You can resize this and move it around as needed. If you want to stop picture in picture mode, just tap on the cross button. This is a tweak that users of the larger plus models of the iPhones will find useful. One of the things I don't like about iOS is the power menu. You press and hold on the sleep button and you're given just one option, power off. That's bad because people usually just want to restart or respring their iPhone. Well, with the power down tweak, you will get the options to restart your iPhone, respring it and even boot it into safe mode. And yeah, power off obviously. Coming back to the control center, iOS 10 split the control center from iOS 9 into two separate pages. Three if you're using Apple HomeKit accessories with your iPhone. Again, I personally like this change, but if you don't, you can use the horseshoe tweak to easily merge these pages into one page, like it was back in iOS 9. There's not much to do, just install horseshoe from Cydia and it will automatically merge the pages into one single control center page. Since we have App Center installed, it will still have its own page. If customization is your thing, you can't go wrong with Animone. The jailbreak app brings quite a lot of simple to use customization options. You can add reflections to the iPhone dock, remove labels from icons or remove the dock pane completely. You can also add blurred dock reflections and more with Animone. The app is easy to use. However, do keep in mind that you'll have to respring your iPhone to see the changes. Thankfully, Power Down can help you with that. Recording an iOS device's screen is no easy task. You need to connect your iPhone to a Mac and use QuickTime to record the screen. However, if you're jailbroken, you can simply install the CC Recorder tweak. This will put a recording button on your control center. Just tap on this and your iPhone screen will start being recorded. When you're done recording, just tap on the CC Recorder icon and the screen recording will be saved in the Photos app. CC Recorder shows up as a free app in Cydia but immediately asks for a 99 cent purchase upon being installed. Without this purchase, you can't use the CC Recorder tweak. If you're like me, you're probably annoyed by the slow animations that iOS uses. Yeah, these animations make it look more appealing but at the end of the day, they are unnecessarily slow. Fortunately, the no slow animations tweak can increase the animation speeds in iOS making your device feel a lot snappier. Similar to the animation scale settings found in Android's developer options, no slow animations also allows you to change the speeds of animations in iOS. Keep in mind that you'll have to respring your iPhone before the changes will take effect. If you're interested in trying these tweaks out on your iPhone, we'll be leaving the links to their repositories in the video description down below, along with instructions on how to jailbreak your iPhone and how to use Cydia to install these tweaks. Well, those were the 15 best iOS 10 compatible jailbreak tweaks you should definitely try. I hope you found these tweaks interesting and if you did, give this video a like. Also, subscribe to our channel as we have some amazing videos planned for you guys. That was all from my side. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.